This is C5. This is real. And this is my method. The method I just used and created is called the equator method. So I'll show you how the equator method works. So the first step in the equator method is to build an equator anywhere on the cube and your result should look like this. The second step is to uh, bring down all of the bottom corner. Uh, for example, if I have the white center facing down, then I need to bring all of the white corners down and they need to be oriented. So I can do something like this. And I'll do it on the top as well, but I will use one or two algorithms to orient them. And then the next step is to permute all of the corners. And uh, in the second and third steps, the uh, corners don't have to be permuted. That we will permute them in this step. And how you permute them is that you'll use like a square one algorithm but the slashes are these two layers and you have to use the U and D layers for three moves or six moves. So uh, I need to permute these corners and these corners. I'll do something like this. And if I get something like this, so uh, the equator, I can just do an L2 to fix it. But the corners are off. I need to do an R2, U2, R2, U2, R2 to fix them. And the next step is to fix all the bad edges and converting them into good ones. And what I mean by that is that I have to uh, get rid of all the uh, orange, green, red, and blue faces on the top and bottom. Uh, so that there will only be yellows and whites on both sides. Just like in Yuru, but uh, in this method, we will use the U and D layers. And since there aren't any bad edges on the bottom, I'll just use the Ru method. And the next step is to insert the UL and the UR edge. So I have the UL and the UR edge, but they are in the wrong spots. So I can do something like this, and then I have to do the DL and the DR edges, so I can do something like this, and then I have to insert the rest of the edges, fix both sides, and then the cube is solved. Now I will be showing you uh, the CP algorithms, the corner permutation uh, for this method, and they're just like the square one algorithms. So starting off with this case, we have to switch these two corners 
we can do something like this. And for this case, when we have to switch two diagonal corners, but we don't have to switch anything on the bottom, we can do something like this. For this case, if you need to switch, uh, you don't need to switch anything on the top, but you need to switch things on the bottom to adjacent corners, do something like this. For this case, if you need to switch these two adjacent corners on the top and these two adjacent on the bottom, do something like this. If you get this case, we need to switch adjacent corners on the uh, bottom and diagonals on the top to something like this. And then just fix the uh, equator and the corners by doing an R2, U2, R2, U2, R2. If you get this case, you don't need to switch anything on the top. But you need to, do, on the bottom, you need to switch these two corners. Do something like this. If you get this case, we need to switch these two corners adjacent on the top and diagonals on the bottom. Do something like this. If you need to switch these two, and if you need to switch these two diagonals on the top and these two diagonals on the bottom, do something like this. Then just fix the equator. And those are all the CP algorithms for this method. Okay, for the equator. I can do something like this to insert these two edges. And for this edge, I can do something like this. And then for this edge, that. Now to insert the corners, I see these two. I can do an R2, D2, R2. Then I can insert this corner. And to insert this here, I can do something like this. Now to orient the corners, the top corners, I can just do the soon algorithm. And I need to switch these two corners on the bottom and these two corners on the top. I can do something like this. And since the equator is wrong, but the corners are correct, I'll have to do an R2, U2, R2, U2, R2. Now for converting the bad edges into good, I see this bad edge and this one. I can do a D, M2, U, I get this case. This is how I do it. Now for the U on the UR edge, I see this and this. I can do something like uh, this. Oh, I have to insert this in the back. There we go. And I need to insert the D on the DR edge. So I have green, white, and white, blue, and we have to go here. And to solve the rest of the edges, I only need to solve the white and red. So I do a U2, and to insert in the back, I do an M U2, M prime U2. All this make it color neutral. 
So I will start with the orange facing down and the red facing up. And to build the equator, I see this edge and I'll find the yellow and blue, which is here. So I can do something like this, D prime, F prime, R. Then I see the blue white and the white green. Now to insert the bottom corners, I see this corner and this one. Oh, no. I need to insert it here. And the final corner needs to twist clockwise. So I'll do something like this. And for the top corners, I'll do a U prime. Do something like this to uh, orient and unexpectedly permute the corner. Now for the uh, corner permutation, I'll do a D prime. I see that I only need to switch these two bottom corners. And I'll do something like this. Now to fix all the bad edges. And only have good ones. I have two, two. I can do something like this. So, and I see this bad edge, this bad edge. I can do something like a u2, d, m2. And I get this case again. So I'll do something like this. To fix it. Now to insert the UL and the UR edge, I need the red blue and the red green. The red green is on the bottom and here's the red blue. I'll do an M U to M prime. Then I will do a U M2. And for the uh, bottom edges, the DL and the DR, I need the blue orange and the green orange. So I'll, I have these. So I'll do an M2, D, M2, D prime. And for the final edge, I need to insert this edge here. So I'll do in the back, I'll do something like an M, U2, M prime, U2. So that is it for my video on my own 3x3 method, the equator method. Comment below what are your thoughts on this new 3x3 method. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.